your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. 618 here on your Friday morning. Welcome back. Our sun is shining. It's looking not too shabby out there right now. Kind of a, a day for us to enjoy parts of anyway. Yeah, I mean, really the next three days, you're going to have plenty of yeah. sunshine. You Which may have from you know, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. where you don't see anything that's up sun. Then mm -hmm. you get those isolated showers and thunderstorms that start to develop, and they could be severe. The atmosphere is there for it. We have the energy. It's just can they develop? Today looks pretty yeah, much. Yeah, you said the models gonna, just aren't agreeing right there's now. There's not really much agreement. The day there is, tomorrow not so much mm -hmm. of where, when, why, or how we're going to see yeah. uh, isolated showers and thunderstorms. But they do develop. They will be severe. Okay. Yeah, we'll start this off. Looking at our weather alerts for the day, we do have this uh, heat advisory out there in eastern Montana up until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. That is going to stay around. It could get issued into the southwest corners of North Dakota as temperatures rise up into the 90s, upper 90s, even closer to the triple digits uh, today. So we'll see what the National Weather Service does with that. We we'll take a look at our satellite and radar. Plenty of clear skies for much of the state. There's that light cloud cover out there into the western portions of the state moving in. It should quickly move out though and we'll have plenty of sun uh, for the day before we do get that chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Uh, Air quality index is showing us moderate raining across much of the state. This hasn't changed. This has really been similar for the last 24 hours. Our sensor in Bismarck has not moved very much from those like mid to upper 60s on the rating. So we're going to continue to see this for the weekend. May get heavier as we get into Sunday. Maybe Monday we'll see how we continue, but it's something we have to keep an eye on. Temperatures right now in the 60s all across the state. You do see some 70s down in northern South Dakota. We also have a 50 uh, down in southwest in Hedinger. So we'll continue to warm up today. We are back in the 90s across much, if not all, the region. Uh, lower 90s to the east. You move out to the west, get those mid to upper 90s. Again, some triple digits possible to the southwest into area like Wolf Point again, where your high was at 102 yesterday. So it's another warm one all across the state. Going to need to stay hydrated once again. It's also sticky. Our dew points are going to get up to the mid to upper 60s, so it's going to be uncomfortable out there. There will be some areas that your dew points get to the 70s, so uh, just going to be a, a warm, sticky day across this Friday. And because of that, the SBC has given us a marginal risk of severe weather for all the state uh, for today. The timing uh, going to be 4 or 5 p.m. We start to see those showers and thunderstorms develop when we look at our threats for today. Tornadoes, it's very low today. There will be a chance tomorrow for tornadoes, uh, but hail for uh, today up to an inch. Winds up to 60 miles per hour with some of those thunderstorms. And we look at precision cast and it shows us clear skies for the day. We get to 4 or 5 p.m. We start to see those isolated showers and thunderstorms starting in Montana. They move east into North Dakota. Uh, we'll reach the Bismarck Mandan area probably around 10 p.m. We'll lag a little bit farther behind for Minot and those northern portions of the state. How broken up are they uh, for you? Minot will sort of determine what you see. We get to Saturday. Plenty of sunshine here, but again, we start to see um, some models suggest right around 5, 6 p.m. Way out in the far west, we get these isolated showers and thunderstorms develop. They move east and they sort of enter an environment that is there for severe weather. Now, uh, this model doesn't show us very much. Our precision cast here shows us stay pretty dry, but we do have some thunderstorms developing into eastern Montana right around 1 to 2 a.m. So we'll keep an eye on it. Still a lot of question marks for tomorrow, but if those thunderstorms do develop. You're looking at uh, threats of tornadoes hail and heavy winds. Your Williston five day forecast 90s today, 80s tomorrow and Sunday, 80s for next week as well. Uh, Dickinson 90s today, 80s for your weekend, maybe back to the 90s Sunday, 80s on Monday and Tuesday. Your might not seven day forecast. Well, that's got 90s for today, 80s for your weekend, 70s back for next week, but it may stay in the 80s. It's going to be very close. Uh, Bismarck, it's more the same 90s all the way through Sunday. 80s and 70s next week. All right. Well, it's going to be a busy weekend here with yes. uh, the Indy Country Fest, and I know people getting out on water. Yeah, enjoying this nice weather because, you know, we don't get this very long here in North Dakota. Exactly. So uh, I know a lot of people are going to be out. Just stay weather alert. Yep. They may be later in the night, but there's still a few cells that could pop up here there earlier, and they could go ruin your afternoon. For sure. Definitely hydrate. Yeah, definitely right. hydrate as well. Thank you, Stone. And coming up on Good Day Dakota, a dog named Blue is training.